Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meecher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we actually spent some time with some confidants and received some news with one of them that was very devastating. And oh my god, you guys have to check it out if you haven't. Anyway, <clears throat> today... We are going to... We're not going to forget about Mishima. We agreed to go over there. Looks like Mishima's waiting for us in Shibuya. Do you think we should go see him? Yes, we should. Let's go. Right away. Okay, I'll be waiting. Oh, but don't flake out on me, okay? Please? Let's go. Oh, we changed. Perfect. Because if we're going to do this maid thing, I'd rather not have, you know, school clothes on, obviously. Do you remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack websites in the name of justice? I had pretty high hopes for them, but they turned out to be posers. Phantom Thieves are true heroes, though. I want to help out however I can. <laughs> so, we're executing Operation Maid Watch tonight for sure, right? Hell yeah. All right. Sweet. I've been waiting for this. Wait. You already change out of your uniform? I guess that's a pretty good idea. We're meeting over in Sakamoto's, Sakamoto's place, right? I stop by mine beforehand so I can change too. Seems like the optimal choice. <sighs> so, we're really gonna do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? <laughs> Operation Maid Watch, bro! <laughs> yeah, Operation Maid Watch. Turns out to be sketchy. We just bail. Apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. Yeah, that's smart for you. You're a genius, Ruji. That was actually pretty smart. Yeah, yeah, I know. For once, that was good. To think Sakamoto has a brain. But if that's the case, then... Then... Yep. Huh? Okay, give him a call. Ugh. Fine, leave it to me. This I'll call. Thank you for calling. Oh, this man's voice. <clears throat> Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. They answered. Hey. Shh. I take your interest in our services then. Services? Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Huh? Anyone want to request? What should we do, Michiru? Uh, just send anyone. Anyone's fine. Very well. Let's see here. We have a maid available in 20 minutes. May I ask your address? Sure, it's... Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Whoa. Done. Shit. This is really happening. Maid services. Hey, what should we have her do? I was thinking we should start with some cooking. Uh, of course, I wouldn't mind some of the other services either. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? Calm down, Mishima. Strategy meeting to discuss maid services? Come on, you're fine. It's 20 minutes, right? Uh, gotta use the bathroom. It's almost time. Holy shit, already? Been there for a while. Are you okay? Hey, did you wash your hands? Mm. Huh? What? Who? Me? You're really nervous. <laughs> uh. Are high school students even allowed to use this type of service? Huh? What do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. How did they find out who we really are? Wait. How should I know? But what what would how old you are matters when it comes to housekeeping? We should have we would be screwed if your number had shown up on their caller ID. Great, and I'm the one who called. Fuck you guys. Thank you. Good evening, I'm from the housekeeping services. Huh? Already? She's five minutes early! What do we do? I'm not mentally prepared. 
Oh, the door's unlocked. Um, may I come in? I can't do this. My stomach's acting up and my hands are all sweaty. Knees weak. Mom's spaghetti. What? What are you talking about, Ranger? Okay, you handle the rest. And don't let her f find out you're a high school student. I got your back, just from way back, like from the balcony. What? what? I can't do this either. Miyake, we'll leave it to you. Oh, great. Ranger Mishima fled to the balcony. Guess I'm alone. Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, Master. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You are. You're quite the treat. I'm going to fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow. I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure of surfacing you today. Hello. Can I request someone else? Nice to meow to you. <laughs> We're going to get along so well. Meow. Oh, my. Hi, thoughtless of me. I should explain our service to you, Master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. Oh, but there are other services we provide if you desire. Hmm. You look young, Master. Are you perhaps in high school? Yes, I am. I'm in college. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm a dad. Oh, wow, your skin's so healthy. You're not lying to me, are you? Mm. Mm. I'll wait to provide those other services until you've matured a bit, Master. So, I'll be going now. Huh? What? No! Quiet! It, is someone there? Oh no! Shit! Run, Mishima! Mishima? Sakamoto-kun? Oh, no. Is this Makoto? Did we just discover a dirty little secret from Makoto? And you? Hi. Hmm. This doesn't look like Makoto. Did you request me specifically? Are you... Oh, no. It's alright. How would you know me? This is our first time meeting. Yes, the first time ever, Master. Oh. Oh. Oh, that expression. Sensei? This is unbelievable. Is it? Yes, it's me, your homework teacher. I'm so done. I got caught by some of my own students. Oh my god. I should have taken a job outside the city. But I needed to be close to school so I could go there after I finish work. Hey! Who did you hear this from? Oh, it was Miss Chono, wasn't it? The harpy. Oh, they didn't change this. Or is this still like her bang bangs? No, they didn't change that. Miss Chono, the English teacher. She's been snooping all of all the teachers ever since that incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Are you going to tell Miss Chono about this? What do you mean? Why would I? Hmm, does like like doesn't look like you're playing dumb. In any case, I'll get in big trouble if you tell on me. Mm hmm. Hey, if you're going to side with a teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of class, after all. And if you promise not to tell Miss Chono about this, I'll do anything for you. Mm. What to do? Mm. What? Hey. hey, it won't be any better if you if people find out what, that you call the maid service. This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? I guess you at least thought about that. I take the fall for this. Great. Well. I'll promise to keep this a secret too, so don't we why don't we both forget this ever happened? And treat this as if you had cancelled so you won't have to pay anything, okay? On that note, I'll be leaving. 
Don't say anything about this at school, okay? Just act as if nothing ever happened. Oh, got it? Okay, bye! Who would have thought Kawakami a maid? I suddenly feel exhausted. I just want to go home. I do not blame you. We meet again. Why are you here? I'm drinking water. Leave me alone, Makoto. What do you want? It appears you're lying low lately. What's with the change? <clears throat> Nothing. It's just... I'm acting the same as usual, honestly. What do you mean? Really? Is it just my imagination, then? Yes, it is. Anyhow? Mm -hmm. I wish the culprit would come forward soon. About? It's absurd to pretend I can do the police's job. I wish he considered my feelings before asking me this. Mm. Oh well. Let's try not to, you know, stress over it. We're going after school. Okay. Oh yeah. Hey, there was something going on with Kawakami, wasn't there? Something involving Chono? I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe you should ask her about it. She's probably still in school, right? Let's go look for her. All right, let's go. Hmm. I believe it was. Ah, there it is. Hey guys, as I've been saying, get home safely, Miyaki-kun. Well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we're not finished talking yet. Uh, but so... I... There have been a series of scandals on this campus. We're all being called into question. And yet, you leave work earlier than anyone? And you barely make it to the faculty meetings. Explain yourself! Don't tell me you've, you're out running around at night! Mm. Hey, look at me being grilled by Chono. She said she'd do anything if we helped her out, so let's clear up Chono's suspicions. The school's closing soon. Mr. Miyake, head home before it gets too late. Or did you need something from Miss Kawakami? I actually have a question for her. What? Oh, you have another question. Another question? N that's right. Miyaki-kun's questions are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. So, you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours. Hmm. What passion! You are the ideal teacher! A passionate teacher is exactly what we need in this school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, keep up the hard work, you two. She just kind of convinced herself, but I did clear up her suspicions, so thanks. Could not you come with me for a bit? We can't talk about this at school. This is the address and phone number of my night job. Mercy, call Kami's phone number. Hey! Call at night and request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up in your call history, though, okay? Hey! Yeah! You did it! No call history means a public telephone. Let's call from LeBlanc's yellow phone. Oh, that's why the yellow phone is there. Let's call call Kami when you're free. And invite her to meet you at the room. Well... Okay, I have to go. And off she goes. Wait a second. Uh... Um... Hello? Let's talk about Mr. Kamishida. The fact that these hearts really do exist. Oh no. If he gets the schoon's card gets stolen, I'd I'll knit him a scarf for his birthday. We'll be together. I just need to weave my head Oh my god! Yes, Morgana. Get your head in oh my god, you're so creepy. Who's she stalking? This guy? Huh. I'm guessing it's from these two. She's just stalking them. Anyway. Our boy Ryuji. Let's spend some time with him. What's up? 
What if I'm not digging all this sitting around crap? So, you know we were looking for somewhere we can train? Well, finally found a spot. We're free to do whatever we want. Why don't we head over there now? See if I can become closer. Yep. No, oh, buddy, you plan on doing... Wanna hang out with Ruji? Yeah, let's go. It's a gym over in Shibuya. Pretty damn cheap, too. Come on, show you the way. I thought someone was like following us. This has gotta be it. Here we are, Protein Lovers Gym. It's paid per visit, so you don't gotta worry about any bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kind of crappy, but got tons of variety. Plus, it's a real damn cheap. Totally worth it. No about a pool or a hot tub. By the way. Oh yeah, you bring your stuff. Protein powder? Hell yeah, man! If you wanna beef up, you gotta. Wait, that ain't it! I'm talking about spare undies. Getting back into your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Oh, but don't go getting your hopes up. I'm gonna let you use mine. Duh, ew! Wanna get going? Anyway, let's head in. Oh my god. You can now quick travel to the sports gym in Shibuya. Hey, okay. Forms, coming back. I don't got any stamina. <coughs> Sakamoto? Who's that? Morning. Ikara Senpai. What's Bonkin? Bonkin? You say the strangest things. Is that how you greet a friend? <laughs> oh, I've been trying to come up with some cool new slang. Maybe it'll catch on. You can't just do that. Oh, you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I've already graduated, remember? Hmm, I wasn't seen you before. Were you on the track team? Him? He's, uh, a friend. By the time he showed up, the track team was already, well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Eh, I'm managing. How about you, Senpai? You still running? I actually joined my university's track team. You think I would have quit entirely after what happened? <sighs> about that, I'm real sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. Huh? I was supposed to be the leader of your team, yet I just resigned myself to Kamoshida's will. <clears throat> That's because you needed him to write your letter of rec, right? We're just looking out for your future, and I still managed to F it up anyways. <sighs> Kamoshida clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. It was just his excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, so come on up. Senpai. I was regretted not doing more to protect you guys. But there was some good news recently. The shooting track team's being reinstated. For real? I mean, Kamoshida confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the school's got the old team together and told them they want to try starting it up again. Nobody told me about that. Hmm. Huh. Odd. The rumors got as far as me. I'm not even a student anymore. Anyway, I heard they're going to get Mr. Yamauchi as their new advisor. Huh? Yamauchi? Hold up. That Yamauchi? Yep. One was basically Kamoshida's lapdog. Apparently he volunteered. He's really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. He is? You know, now the team is being reinstated, there's no need for any bad blood, right? Why don't you go talk to them? I'm sure they could use some, someone of your passion. Yeah. Hmm. So, the track team's coming back. Good for them. Do you want to rejoin? I don't know. For real though, 
I'm glad the team's coming back at Suita Nakaoka and then can start training again. I'm worried about their advisor. You know, Uchi. He's like a mini Kamoshida. So he's an asshole? Uh... Basically. It was yell at us at practice, but it wouldn't be a huge kiss ass when our parents were around. Ugh. I can't believe more like that's gonna be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach PE. It's gotta be up to something. Yeah, I agree. I'll do some research. There's a chance I'm gonna need your help, okay? Be free to lend a hand if you need it, yeah? Be counting on you. Yeah. Oh, my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Did I level up? I mean, rank up? Yes, rank five. Okay. All right. More XP, but I got nothing else besides the rank up. All right. We don't got time to mess around here anymore. Let's head home. Wait, get a shower first. Yeah. Always shower after you hit the gym, because you do not want to sleep in sweaty, stinky clothes. You got it? Yep, who's texting? No, oh, we're raging. Yo, what's bonking? I don't know. About that stuff today. Can't really let myself be happy about the track team starting up again. Like I said earlier, there's just something fishy about that Yamauchi being an advisor. But I mean, if anything happens, I ain't got my back. So I ain't too worried. Don't worry, I gotcha. Thanks, man. I knew I could count on you. I mean, we don't know for sure if anything sketchy is going on. But when I get these gut feelings, they're usually right. Well, if I hear anything, I'll hit you up. Okay, later. Alright. Have a good one, my man. Anyway... I want to try something. Back. Yes, I am back. Oh, never mind. Hey. So we bone if this legal action goes through? Madarame is a well-known individual. The police will surely move fast on his request. We'll be arrested and worse comes to worse, sent to some sort of juvenile hall. But I thought you said it didn't seem like he'd actually go through with it. That is true. He's been bedridden since we went through with it after all. Honestly though, it's difficult to even tell if he's actually undergone a change of heart. I guess we'll just have to wait until he recovers. I don't feel good about that. I'll contact you all once, if anything happens. Would that work for you? Are you going to be okay, Yusuke? There have been no issues so far, so I expect the same is true of the future. Don't worry about me. Well then, see you soon. See you soon, my boy, Yusuke. Actually, didn't go come and give me your phone number? You going to call her? No, because I actually want to do something. Let's go to Shibuya to Central Street. I think I explored everything, right? Oh, I didn't check this. Diner. We travel. Oh, I can travel to the diner in Shibuya. Oh. Hey, this family restaurant has been renovated and it's open again. Studying will cause time to pass but will improve your knowledge. In addition, if you eat, you'll be able to improve your guts as well. Ooh. Items will be added to the menu depending on the season. During bad weather, you'll be able to increase your knowledge more than usual. Hmm. I bet you can study here also and enjoy the menu. Really? You wanna study here? Uh, no, I'll pass. I actually went to do something, so I'm not gonna, like, stop what I was gonna do. Uh, here. Let's go into the burger shop. I'm sure. Uh, let's take the challenge. Um. Let's see if we can do it. I'll take the challenge. I don't think so, because I believe we have to have everything rank three. Let's see. Let's try it. Who knows? Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to the Big Bang Challenge. As you see, you've moved up to, to, as you see, you moved up to the ranks of second mate. This is your next foe. Holy hell! Whoa. Holy crap! It's humongous. 
This is the Gravity Burger, a burger so large it almost has its own gravitational field. Once again, this will be no easy feat to overcome. But you should should you conquer this challenge, you'll be rewarded with an extravagant prize. So, this one comes our prize too. Do your best, Meecher. Now then. Well then, it's time to get the 30 minutes Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go. All right, let's see. Let's meet makes sense for a challenge of such cosmic proportions. Now then. Don't get too hasty. Just work at your own pace and you'll do it. Let's see. Nope. Oh, man. Uh, it didn't work out. You had a ton of energy at the start, though. I guess it'll take quite a bit more courage to tackle this challenge. It'll be difficult to finish the whole thing at my current guts, knowledge, and proficiency. Okay. I need yep. that up. And my enthusiasm in the face of adversity, though. Hey, that goes for guts, right? Yeah, perfect. Wanna head back? Come on, leave your dad home. I'm full from just watching you. Perfect. The 26. Yeah. So someone famous in Shibuya yesterday. The par parliamentarian. Oh, fuck. It was yesterday, right? For when I was a kid, Todonosuke something. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, Todonosuke Yoshida? As in, or as most folks know him, no good Tora. He's at the train station giving speeches these days. No pays him any mind. He used to be a rising star in politics, but wound up involved in scandal after scandal. Huh? Yeah, someone in line for food. It's weird seeing a politician eating at the same place all we we all do. In the end. That's probably his new gimmick, right? Pottering to middle class people. I don't think so. You guys are just very judgmental. Jesus. Jeez. Sometimes I see people writing exactly the same thing on their essays. I don't think you can get away with copying stuff from some website. I'll know. Got it? Stealing someone's ideas is plagiarism. It's as much as a crime as stealing anything else. So annoying dealing with copyright crap these days. Oh yeah, did you know this? You know that Arsene Lupin series by Maurice LeBlanc? LeBlanc once had a famous detective character from another series appear in one of the Lupin stories. Now then, Miyake-kun? Oh my god, what? Do you know the answer? Do you know which Arthur LeBlanc borrowed from. Arthur Conan Dial, of course, I knew that. This is it. That's well the creator done. of that book, right? <laughs> oh, do you like mystery novels? Yes, the answer is the author of Sherlock Holmes. Arthur Conan Dial. Oh my god, I should have known this. I don't know the name of many authors, so. It was the ultimate showdown between the definitive gentleman thief and the famous detective. Apparently, LeBlanc changed the name of his version to of Sherlock Holmes when Doyle complained. He changed it to Herlock Holmes. He just moved the S to the start of his last name. Hey, did you get that question? It wasn't even close. Maybe he's actually is smart. I'm kinda surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice going. Well, you must be really smart to able to answer a question like that. I can't speak. It's okay, Morgana. That's part of speaking. It's hard to speak. Both Lupin and Holmes would go on to appear in a number of other works. But those are homages, not plagiarisms. Now, our San Lupin is synonymous with the idea of Phantom Thief. He's recognized all over the world. Yep. Well, looks like some Phantom Thieves never go out and never go out of style. Speaking is hard. I know, Morgana. I know. It's hard. It sucks, too. Well, then. Pollen's bad today. Lots of people are suffering from pollen allergies. Could be affecting mementos, too. What message do we have? Hmm. Oh, I like the group chat. Nice. Uh, what are we doing today? 
Mm, what are we doing today? I can't just sit around. I'm shopping in the underground mall in Shibuya right now. I'll still be in Shibuya for a little while, so let me know if anything comes up. Seems like Elenian hasn't gotten home yet. Wanna go see her for a bit? Yeah, we actually haven't spent time with her. Oh, sure. Okay. Hey, on how's it going? See it. Seriously? Yen. Ooh, he just puts like very a we'll pensive face. I guess now we wait. Spence is seriously killing me. What should I do? Maybe wouldn't hurt to at least ask. No, but then. Lady Anne seems depressed. Oh, uh, uh, um, never mind. It's nothing. I should be able to invite her out with my current kindness. Oh, I'm fine. Seriously, besides, I wouldn't want to trouble you. Tell me about your problems. Uh, are you sure? You're so reliable. I guess it wouldn't be so bad talking to you about this stuff. I feel I can become closer to Odd Lakes or Hey, the lovers persona. But will grow stronger soon. So, what do you think? Will you spend some time with Lady On? Yeah. Let's hang out with her. Thanks! Oh, Alright, let's go to the diner. Oh, I just unlocked the diner. Today yesterday. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. I'm surprised. Morgana actually gives me us us time. Hey, um, there's something I want to talk to you about, Michiru. It's Shiho. Sure. Well, I went to visit her in the hospital. She... she said she was sorry. Sorry for not telling me about Kamoshida, about all the things he was doing to her. But it was my fault, too. There was how much trouble she was in. I wasn't there for her. So... I apologized as well. Are you better now? You're feeling better now. My bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I felt I got to tell her everything. Couldn't bring myself to say before. Hey. And, um, remember how Kamoshida threatened to take Shiho off the team if I didn't sleep with him? I only agreed to it so that I wouldn't ruin, ruin Shiho's dreams. But now that I think about it, he never would have put her in on the bench and cost his team games. I seriously should have dared him to try and take her starting spot. And in the end, maybe I just didn't believe in her ability. Hmm. You might be right on that. Oh. I knew it. I'm so stupid. How this happened because of how weak I am. That's why I believe Kamashita's authority over Wei Chiyo's own ability to earn her starting spot. Michiru, um, do you remember the last time I talked to you like this? Remember when I got that phone call from Kamoshida and, and cried? I felt so alone, scared even. But because you were there for me, I decided not to go. I was a little surprised at how pushy you were about it, but I see now that you just wanted to help. Thanks. It was no big deal. I couldn't just ignore you. You're so kind, Michiru. Back then, people used to call me all sorts of names. <sighs> Prissy bitch, Kamashita's girl. I got tired of it pretty quickly. But to tell you the truth, someday I want to be able to take labels like that in stride. You got it. I believe hey. in you. Hey, um, personas are the power of the heart, right? That means if my heart gets stronger, my persona will too. Yeah, I believe so. So, I want to strengthen my heart. And I want to use that strength to help people around me. We can save people from trouble, just like we did when we changed Kamashita's heart. We got this. Aww. Though, honestly, I don't even know what strong is. But I'm going to find the answer. I promise. Let's find it together. Huh? R really? Thanks! I feel like I'm... Uh, oh... A little stronger already. <laughs> I guess that doesn't really count though, huh? <laughs> well, I'll be relying on you. Let's train together and make our hearts super strong. Yeah, since the heightened motiva motivation from on. 
Hey, I'm glad. Rank up. Girl talk. If negotiation a female shadow fails, you can try again. Ooh, okay. All right. Rank two. You can now use girl talk. Hey, let's go. Strong heart. Mm. Oh yeah. How about this? I won't get any refills on fountain drinks. I mean, they're free, so not getting any would mean you have a strong heart. I don't think that's how it works, son. Huh? Is that not right? No. <laughs> You're adorable. Bye. Well, see you later. Oh, what's up, on? Oh, hey, it's me. Thanks for listening to what I had to say earlier. Now I feel like I have a better idea of who I want to be. Also, I'm going to start to think of how I can strengthen my heart. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. I hope you'll join me again next time. Of course, you're my teammate. Leave it to me. The no refills thing. Nah, leave it to me. Yeah, I'm counting on you. You're such a nice guy. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, how about you help me come up with ways to train my heart? Just let me know when a really good idea hits you, okay? Bye. Sure. We got you on. All right. Ah, you're back. What to do? Is there the? Yes, there's a crossword puzzle. And something on TV, I think, hey, right? Hey. I know. Let's play a little. Right, let's see. A type of outdoor allergy. Cold. No. Gets congested. Mm. Uh, I think. Let me see. Are there enough letters? Is that it? Oh, there, there's the L. Oh. Right? Oh my god, I'm stupid. Why do I keep going down? That's it, right? Yes! The only reason I know that is because I actually suffer from that. <laughs> there's an allergic reaction that triggers when pollen makes contact with membranes in the nose or eyes probably cause sneezing runny nose and itchiness yes it's horrible these symptoms came to rise whenever english farmers harvested their pastures leading the nickname uh, for pollenosis hay fever to become commonplace all right that sucks nice. oh wow even i can figure that one out nice you gotta be smart after solving these crossword puzzles knowledge am i even close to ranking up knowledge this was a game show, right? If you have a crime, like the one we saw that leecher, Mr. Kamoshida, gave, have this old appellation. Confessions of a crime are the queen of evidence or jewel of evidence. Which one is right? You be the judge. Who's the queen of evidence? The correct answer is A, hey, queen. Yes, that's the very famous expression in the field of law. Confessions are very powerful evidence. People used to even resort to torture to get them. That's a high school prodigy for you. Today's force air confession is forbidden under our law, and... Nice goal. I'm surprised you knew that. Did you just guess? Torture, though. That's pretty brutal. Rank up. We did learn... I was gonna study. But... Let's see how studying goes in the diner. Is it not here? Oh, here it is. Let's see how studying goes here. Hmm. I've been getting study here for a while while enjoying the menu. You want to study here? Yeah. It said that it was better. It looked like I could level up something else it, it has said, I think. Yeah, it's good to, that we managed to find seats, even if it's a bit crowded. May I take your order? We've added a new menu. 
now that renovations are finished, would you like to try it? I highly recommend the surprise sando and the nostalgic steak. I'll take this one, this one's cheaper. Got it. I'll be right back with your order. It sure does look good, but yeah, probably actually tastes good too. Mm. You're fine, Morgana. Calm down. For real? You just got that down without any hesitation. I'm overwhelmed by your guts. <sighs> Thank you. That's a point in guts. <gasps> Rank up. Let's go. All right. Your guts has increased from bull to staunch. Mm. Looks like you're able to get some studying done. But there's just so much noise. Oh, okay. So it's less than LeBlanc, but I got guts too. And rank up. Let's go. Right. Two rank ups. Your knowledge has increased from learn to scholarly. Wanna head back? Well, we should. Mm, that should be enough for today. Come on, let's go home. Right, off to the next day. The 27th. Wow. Time is just flying by. Hello. Ah, huh, it's you. Hey, Yusuke. How's it going, buddy? Madarami's ill, but the exhibit, the exhibit is still going strong. I can't respect him as my sensei anymore, but it's sad to think I don't have a mentor anymore. Hey, I'm all yours if you need it. Oh? T talk to you? T now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever had someone I could simply talk to. Well, perhaps I may need a sounding board sometime. I hope you'll humor me then. Of course, I'm here for you. You're my buddy after all. Oh, we immediately jumped to after school. Wow. What do we have here? Maruki, Ryuji, and Triple Seven. We're going to spend time with Maruki, but we're going to do that in the next episode. So we only have nine days left for the change of heart. Oh my god. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos because I sure am with everything going on and who I can't wait for the change of heart. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to Join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.